You might be wondering what's in her nose. This is a weaning ring. The calf's able to stay with their mom, but not able to nurse. See caption for more about why we use weaning rings and our troubles with them. Hi guys, this is gonna be my last rant of the day, I promise. But somebody sent me this clip on Instagram and it's from a, like a humane, like they, I guess they consider themselves like a humane dairy farm. And this isn't an attack on these small family owned dairy farms. I know that this is their bread and butter, literally. And I know that, you know, these families rely on this um, to earn a living and put food on the table. But I just have a question, like, why do this at all? We humans are not supposed to drink milk from another species. We're not even supposed to drink our own mom. I know this sounds like a broken record, but we're not even supposed to drink our own mom's milk after infancy. These farms need to be weaning away from um, using animals for milk. We're just, it's, it's okay. 12 reasons to stop drinking cow's milk. Thanks to the dairy industry's massive PR machine, cow's milk has long been touted as the go-to source for calcium. But look past the spin and it's easy to see that milk does milk does a body bad. I was going to say, milk does a body good. No. If you've got milk and cheese, yogurt, and ice cream, you've likely got a host of health problems awaiting you. And the reason is, is because it is not, we are not supposed to consume it. Let that baby do its natural instinct and nurse its mother. Like, just stop, okay? Broken bones. Despite the hype, cow's milk actually robs our bones with calcium. Animal proteins produce acid when they're broken down, and calcium is an excellent acid neutralizer. So you can see where this is going. In order to neutralize and flush out the acids, our bodies have to use the calcium that the milk contains, as well as some from our own... I don't know what is crossed out. Um, so every glass of milk... And also... Uh, it is statistically shown that countries where they consume the highest um, amounts of dairy milk, such as Scandinavia, where my relatives are from, have really, really high rates of autoimmune diseases such as multiple sclerosis. So we, uh, every glass of milk we drink leaches calcium from our bones. That's why medical study after medical study has found that people who consume the most cow's milk have higher fracture rates. People who drink cow's milk have a higher rate of osteoporosis. And if you're eating large amounts of cheese, throw in a helping of saturated fat, sodium cholesterol, prostate cancer, milk and cheese are linked to an increased risk of developing prostate cancer, lactose intolerance, which obviously everyone knows about. I've seen the commercial. Oh my goodness, these commercials are so annoying to me. I've seen the commercials um, where they, it's like, are you lactose intolerant? And they show like the cute cow, you know, and then they say um, they removed the lactose from milk. It's like actually cow's milk, but they've like gone to the trouble of removing the lactose from it. How, how about this? How about just not drink cow's milk? How about just not drink it? <laughs> Ah, it's so frustrating to me and there's so many delicious plant-based cheeses out there now I try to I try to show people stuff all the time you don't have to take milk from another species at all there's so many delicious ones if you guys want um tips on really good cheese brands or whatever just just send me a comment just ask me because I've been in this game for seven years now, you know, eating only plant-based foods and oh my goodness, the cheeses are so good now. So it says that milk increases your, um, your chance of getting acne. In multiple studies, the consumption of all types of dairy products was linked to an increased prevalence and severity of acne in boys and girls. I understand that these dairy farms, you know, they're doing what their families have done for generations and they're just it's they're just kind of like doing what their families have done and that's their bread and butter that's how they earn money but they really really need to get with the times and 
stop, you know, stop taking milk from another species. Cholesterol, a single serving of milk contains as much as 24 milligrams of heart harming cholesterol. A single source of why am I I'm having I'm brain farts today? <laughs> um, 30 milligrams, but no plant food contains any cholesterol whatsoever. So, like I said, I'm not trying to, I'm sure that, you know, they're nice people and they're trying to do the humane thing and be more humane with the weaning rings. I mean, I have seen some real torture devices that were used for weaning devices. So, you know, using those rings, I suppose, a little bit kinder than some of the other things I've seen. And it's definitely better than separating the baby from the mom. But milk is just unhealthy. Like I try, I try so hard to tell people and drill this into their heads that plant-based cheese and milk is delicious. And you don't have to consume soy products either because I've seen like misinformation and disinformation channels here on YouTube that are anti-vegan. Um, they they try to like brainwash their viewers into thinking that if you're a vegan that all you drink is soy that nothing could be further from the truth there's oat milk there's hemp milk there's almond milk so don't believe the disinfo anti-vegan people telling you misinformation either that soy is bad for you and veganism is bad for you you do not have to consume much soy if you have a plant-based vegan diet there are many soy alternatives and plant milk is much healthier for your bones. It has a more natural form of calcium that your bones like and it's, it's just better for you. Don't drink cow's milk. Thanks for watching.